Hi everyone, it's Florence Lee at Volition Properties. I'm doing a quick walkthrough of the basement as I realized I forgot to do it last time. It's Saturday at 9 a.m. and we're waiting for our architects uh, to come by. So what I'm gonna do is just talk a little bit about the floor plan and then go down to the basement. Uh, we're in the living room right now on the main floor and we're gonna be walking down the stairs here uh, where you'll see a laundry machine or rough-in will be done to preserve it with the main and second floor unit. Then I'll take you down to down the hallway here to where a bedroom is going to be, along with a bathroom and mechanical room. Uh, so we are going to be moving some of our mechanicals and then either roughing in or planning for a kitchen as well, um, and then a den uh, along the existing walkout. So let's walk down to the basement. You can see we've removed some of the asbestos from last time. That's all ready to go, and then we'll be doing some demo. And by we, someone else is doing demo. So now we're heading down the stairs here. What we're going to do on the right is to have a fire separation between the two units where my hand is. Uh, there's certain requirements we have to comply with, and we were trying to figure out where to put the laundry for ourselves. So it's going to be somewhere along here in the landing. Just so we're going to come down the stairs, the laundry's out of the way without impacting our design on the other two floors. We're in the bedroom area, which is currently the mechanical room, so I'm doing a pan here. It's actually pretty big, and we thought about doing a closet there where the light is right now, because it's a nice little tuck-in. But one of the things that was noted is that the electrical panel that we're moving should be within the first five feet of the house or so. Um, so it's probably going to go where my, somewhere where my finger is pointing, and that's just going to change the design of the closet. We're going to keep the cold room as some sort of storage here. And the closet, this was Fred's idea, is going to be where these cool LED lights currently are. We have no idea why there are these doors that open to nowhere against the center block wall. So, anything you want to add on the bedroom area, Fred? It's still, yeah, it's pretty spacious. It's a good nice set. Yeah. yeah. One of the reasons why we're here this morning is we're trying to figure out how far we can dig down. We don't know. We were told uh, to, what was it, take the... Uh, dig down to the footing, break the, no, so break the slot, uh, dig down to the footing and see how much uh, room we have in order to dig down to get the ceiling height requirement. Yes, and then we realized we don't really know what what to look for, so we did our best to dig some holes. <laughs> <laughs> and and also I, the architect is coming to make sure that we know what we're doing, or at least he can tell us what we're doing wrong. Uh, there's a big hole that's existing that we try to dig a little bit more as well to better understand um, what can be done with the property. And one of the things with building legal basement suite is that it has to meet the ceiling height requirement of uh, six five, and we're trying to assess that today because it's sort of that height in the front of the house here, but in the back it does go down to about six two or six three. So we're hoping we can get a few more inches. If not, what we'll do is modify the layout to a more of a rec room idea and still have a spare um, uh, bedroom here. And the plan is to have a. How should we get my floor plan here? Uh, we're at the front of the house with the bedroom here, and then next to that is the bathroom. So about I think five feet it was for a shower. Under there, so, and then the mechanicals somewhere in the middle here. And I'm just gonna keep walking down. I forgot to mention I seem to have a thing for scary basements. So <laughs> and then making them beautiful. That's the plan. Make, make them beautiful. And so under the stairs is where we thought about putting the laundry um, for the for the uh, tenant use um or if we leave it as our own space we'll just leave the laundry there and know we uh because of the lower ceiling height we will do a um a side by side arrangement rather than a stacked arrangement because we prefer the larger full size laundry uh this is all cinder block so the nice thing is that because it's pretty much unfinished we can try to figure out stuff without taking out too much this is a kind of scary former bedroom that we weren't sure whether someone lived in it or not but they may have, there is a window. And this is where we were also trying to dig another hole as instructed. And there's the electrical panel that we will be moving to the front of the house. And maybe this is because of the ice storm, but there is a generator provision. They don't actually have a generator though. So, oh yeah, so this area is going to be where that L-shaped kitchen is going to be. 
Uh, we thought about different arrangements such as a peninsula or just a um, maybe straight run, but there's a minimum size requirement for the kitchen. And the other thing is that if we do end up leaving it as a flex and recreational space, it's got the it leaves the rest of the space pretty open. Um, you'll see that in the middle of the L shape there, there's the option for a tenant to put either a kitchen island or if they want to do a round table. We wanted to leave different options available and the, you'll notice that the fridge is tucked up beyond the laundry there on the on, on the other side, uh, sorry, beyond the side of the other side of the stairs. Um, let's walk over to this great idea. I can't remember who came up with it. I think it was architects. Was, look, because we're doing some structural work now on the main floor, we can actually break up a lot of the cinder block wall and repurpose this laundry area, which is actually quite large and it can be a good end if we finish it off do a new window, it actually gets a lot of light and a nice view into the garden behind there as well. And we have no idea why this is here. We, uh, someone pointed out it, there's a the line here where it might have previously been enclosed actually as a bathroom. It is apparently non-functional and not in use, uh, but there's a lot of potential here because there's also an extra window and the nice thing is we have a walkout that's existing that goes out to the back of the house.